YouTube, this is Sonic 2KK here, and this is one of the last Lua tutorials I'm going to be doing, sadly. Uh, I think after this I'm going to take requests on what to do, unless I can think of something else to do, which I think I have thought of something else to do, but this is going to be one of the last episodes, we're getting very close to the end. Um, and I want to teach you about object-oriented programming with Lua. Now, object-oriented programming is where you would have a table, and then you would want to make a thing called an instance of that table which can use all the values of that table in a different instance which uh, won't affect the original table. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what it is. So we want to make a table, we're going to call it player equals this and then uh, that's going to have x equals 10 y equals 10, money equals uh, 100 gold coins, just as an example, and name equals Eamon. Actually, no, we're, we're not going to have, have a name, right? And then we're going to make another table called O and set it equal to nothing. Then we're going to set uh, O's meta table equal to... Uh, uh, player, uh, yep, player, and then uh, what we need to do is in here we need to return. Oh no, is it? No, it's not in here. It's not here. We do it. Uh, it's here. We return. I don't normally do it this way. Ah, uh, I think you would return it up here. Return the player. So return the player, and this returns the player so that we can store it. This returns everything in the player table. So whenever we right. So hold on. Uh, he, and then. No, 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 this is completely wrong. What we do is we make a func- we need- make a table called player with nothing in it. And then we want to attach a function to this table. Because you can attach functions to the tables, as I'm sure you guessed. So we want to make a function in the player table and call it new. And then end. So what this will do is this will create a new player instance variable. And what we want to do is we want to make uh, a local. You should make uh, variables local unless they need to be global. Global means they can be accessed anywhere. Local means they can only be accessed in this file. Uh, even if you include the file. That's another thing I'm going to have to teach. Just make it local and make a thing called... Oh, you can call this anything you want. And then this is going to hold all of the player data and uh, this might not make sense right now but the x right you can put whatever values you want in here uh, 10 age equals uh, 13 gold equals 100 I don't know a million gold because we are bosses and then what you want to do here is Set meta table. We're gonna set O's meta table equal to uh, player. And uh, why do we do this? Why? Why whenever O has all this stuff? Well, we need to set the meta table so that O can use all the uh, methods or functions that the player table has. This probably isn't the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it. And then we return O. Which means it will return all the stuff in here and it will return all the functions so we can store that data in a variable. And so this does whatever. And then what we want to do is we want to make a local p equals player new. And then this should work. Let me just see here. Where is it? Unexpected symbol. Uh. 
Mm. Iba again. Why am I getting these errors? Hmm. Unexpected symbol near the opening brackets. Player table. It's local. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this and see if I can figure out what's wrong. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh, that was so simple. I didn't have. I didn't have this. That I can't think of the name for it. Sound operator equals the equal sign. I didn't have this, so it it wasn't working. And this well works now. So if I run this, it doesn't do anything because the code doesn't need to do anything. So this makes a new player instance. And then if we do p dot uh, p dot or print p dot x. Then we'll print 10 because we created a new instance, right? This makes a new instance, right? This this returns the value of player. This returns everything the player has and ever will have. So we get so the p variable can access everything the player and the table has. So if we made another function, I think even you could really call the player new function, but I have no idea what that would do because I've never done it and I've never thought to do it until there now. But I'm not going to do it because it might break the program and it might just confuse me and confuse you. But any other variables like player attack, p can use that. And notice how we have a code on here. Whenever you're doing stuff like this. If you do a dot, it means only the player table can access it. If you do a colon, it means instances, quote unquote, can access the values. Hopefully this makes sense. If you want me to elaborate on something or uh, anything, just leave a comment. If somebody doesn't understand, feel free to reply to them if I don't in the comments. And uh, you can access all these values like player y, player dot age or p dot gold uh, and this can be called anything you want this can be global uh, local is just faster to, for Lua to access the stuff but really it doesn't matter right now how you do this uh, so yeah hopefully you understand object oriented programming from my really bad example and this was a short tutorial I thought it was going to be extremely long but hopefully you learned something from this thanks for watching and have a great day